And Dallas with possession. Doncic outside. Over Russell. And it's Doncic missing. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for Los Angeles. One thing you can count on with this Mavericks team, they shoot threes all night long if you let them. I mean, near the top of the league for attempts beyond the arc. They do it every chance they can get. And that one's good. Davis. And this is exactly how Russell does solid assist numbers. I mean, just great delivery on that play. Goes up at the elbow. No good off the back of the rim. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Pass to James. Fires high post. The Mavericks pull it in. And their first look at this year's Lakers squad. Well, they're going to face each other a bunch of times this season. Each team wants to make a powerful first impression. They know each other very well, and they'll be getting to know each other a lot better by season's end. Outside for Russell. Pass to James. Drains the triple. James has got five now. Always a good sign when LeBron is hitting jumpers. Confidence is on the rise. Huge challenge at the rim. The defender could not have played that any better. The shot by Reeves, no good. And Dallas with possession. Searching for their first points of the game. To the wing, right side. Back to Davis. Hachimura outside. Pass to Reeves. Just five on the clock. Now Davis. Doncic pulls down the board. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Well, Grant, the playoffs are on the horizon. We're almost there. Can you taste postseason basketball? I can taste it. I can smell it. I can feel it. <laughs> There's nothing like the NBA playoffs. The level of basketball is just incredible. And lots of teams have a shot this year. So it'll be fun to see how it all plays out. Pass to Green. Here's Lively. Clock at six. Here's Irving. Dallas no good that time either. Good contest. Can't let him have open shots from mid-range. Back to Achimura. It's James on the wing. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. He has seven. Going right at him. LeBron made up his mind. Back to Green. Will it go? And it's Irving missing. The Lakers in the lead. And on both sides of the ball, Rui Hachimura plays with great aggression. Grant, he embraces that part of his game. You can't ignore the physicality that he plays with. Rui is at his best when he's playing bully ball. Down low. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Reeves has got five. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. And here's Doncic outside. And that one falls. He's now one for three. And that's something that Doncic wants to keep improving. Good to see him firing away from distance. So both teams making some changes here. A minute four left to play in the first. Outside Davis. Here he goes. And the layup is good off the glass. Davis has got his second bucket of the night. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Doncic, no good. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. Here's Prince. Coming in off a 14-point game last time out. It's Prince on the wing. And the Lakers hit again from deep. They've been very effective so far. A balanced attack at its best. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. And they've come out with a fearless approach on the boards. 
Here's Hayes. Washington grabs the miss. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Outside Hardaway. Pass to Exum. Out to the right wing. From deep, here's Doncic. And an overpowering first quarter effort. Already a double-digit advantage. The Lakers on top, up by 16. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Los Angeles? They came out firing from deep. It's always good for a team's confidence when you can start a game that hot. And what's more, they're getting their feet wet down there in the paint early on. Not shying away at all, taking it inside. What a great way to start. Pass to Reeves. From downtown. Offensive rebound. Good work there as it goes. Davis has got six points. There was no doubt in AD's mind that he was going to score with that putback. And they're ahead right now because they're working so hard on the glass. You know, you look at how they built this lead. It's been through extra possessions. Mm -hmm. There's the triple. Gafford grabs the miss. Well, it's going to take something special now to get him back in this game. Unfortunately, it just doesn't seem likely. To me, there's a fine line between being aggressive and just flat out forcing it. His inability to make shots right now is sinking the ship. Pass to James. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Nine points in the game. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Well, the Lakers hired Darvin Ham to be their head coach back in 2022. Brett, that proved to be a great move. I agree, B.A. I mean, Ham was an assistant for a decade in the league, earned his spot as the main guy, and Darvin was a really tough player, too. I mean, he went undrafted and won a title with the Pistons against the Lakers. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Hey, B.A., well, Kyrie Irving is a deadly closer when the game is on the line. Where did it come from? 